Something that most people ask me when they're talking to me about Pilates for the first time is what's it like, what's it about? Most people have never experienced Pilates and even more people, unless you've been to our studio, haven't experienced Pilates on a woundiformer machine. So it's new to just about everyone the beautiful thing is that we have a limited number of people in class. So although you get the camaraderie of a group class experience, you get a lot of individualized attention. And you'll hear us regularly talking about taking things up a notch or offering a modification to really suit your needs and where your body's at any given day. So we promise an outstanding challenge for everyone in the room, but that's not the same challenge for everyone. For anyone who knows me, I tend to be an all or nothing sort of a gal. And when this little Pilates hobby of mine took over, I decided I had to bring it to my hometown in Montrose, California. This is the town that I used to literally be handed $5 as a child and walk up with my sister and my bestie. And we would walk up town and have a slice of pizza and a grape soda, oh my lord. <laughs> and then we would walk and buy stickers. So these are really, really my sincere stomping grounds as a child, and that's why I chose Montrose. That's where I wanted to start this journey and really bring that positivity to the people that are near and dear to my heart. I was balancing both the opening of a studio, which at that time meant teaching 42 hours of class a week, until I got the fabulous Kate to jump in and help me run the show here. I became involved with Wunderbar back in 2008 at a family dinner at my boyfriend's house. Now my husband, Brian, grew up next door to Amy. So she was part of their family. And she was opening up this studio and she was lamenting that the one additional trainer she had couldn't commit to coming all the way up to Montrose. So I thought, I like fitness, I, I, I work out all the time. And so I asked her and she said, oh my gosh, yes, go train. And then you come and teach for me creating a sense of community and camaraderie and really wound a family when we become really close to the people that we work out with in our communities. 18 months later, I expanded into Pasadena as well, a neighboring community. In the studios that I had, I was missing apparatuses that weren't exposed to the public very often, like a wound a chair and a ballet bar and a jump board, in addition to the reformer that we were working with. So I decided at that time that I was going to make my own machine. In July of 2010, I sketched that machine on a plane and decided that it would be something I should make. And we were looking at this drawing. The drawing had a jump board, a ballet bar, a reformer, and a wound chair. It all came together. It seemed like the most obvious, fabulous answer sitting right in front of our faces works kind of like a Swiss army knife, so that we have really fast-paced, effective classes using all these beautiful apparatuses and exposing them to as many people as we can so that the benefits really reach the communities that we work in. And my German heritage kind of all brought that together to create the name Wunderbar Pilates, which means wonderful, and it really is just that experience that we want to deliver to our clients every single time. I really want to connect with people on a personal level. I really want them to get the most out of every single repetition. If you've come to my class, you know I'm pretty hardcore about making sure you find the best form you can achieve in your body that day. I'm really, really going to work with every individual in class to make sure they get the most out of every single move we do on every single apparatus. But whether you're in San Diego or whether you're in Studio City, you're gonna have that same outstanding workout, that same excellent customer service, that same really positive and vibrant experience, even though the flavor of each studio is going to really mimic the environment and the community that you're in. Such an important part of what we do is building this team and really, you know, nurturing those relationships with our clients and with our educators. It's pulled together the most amazing group of people that I'm so proud to work with and so proud to have out there representing the Wunderbar brand across the studios. I think I came in here thinking it was like puppies and Trader Joe's and cottage cheese and stuff and it was way harder than that.
In Pilates, we like to do every movement, initiating at the core, even to move your arms or your legs. We start everything from the core and work to make your joints function better than they do, make your experience in your skin better than it already is. Everyone, turn it over. We're gonna start in a plank position. We're gonna bend our knees and draw the carriage into a four-point kneeling position. Hey, CJ, how's that stretching feeling? Uh, it's... <laughs> it's amazing, right? Step out to the ballet bar and you're gonna pick up that Wunda Blue ball on your way. So grab those dumbbells. So we don't wanna go into a squat. We're gonna stay in this plie. If the dumbbells feel aggressive, hands come on the hips for a moment. And we're gonna come onto our machine. Yes. Machine. <laughs> Let's lay down. Inhale as you jump off. What? Oh my oh, gosh. Shit. Exhale as you land. <laughs> if we're tapping the back bumper, oh, no. that means we're jumping with, with our legs and not our core. Good. Bring it in. Thank the Lord it's over. Good. Come on up. And the good news is we're going to bring our left leg up also. You keep saying good news. Because that's amazing. <laughs> it's the worst day of my life. And we're going to go into some work on the back of our machine. Thought we were done. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I supposed to be filming this? The, well, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to be lifting from here. How are we feeling? Does that feel good? Easy, make it harder. Good. All right, at the top, let's go ahead and make it harder, because CJ said, make it harder. We're gonna take off both our hands. You need to learn to so shut up, CJ. But we're gonna stay upright, that's ah. the trick. <laughs> this we can do, let's stay like this. Pelvic thrust, pelvic thrust. But you guys are not new. You are not new. Not to that. All right. Oh, fuck. Jacob. Are you cramping? I am starting cramp. Beautiful. Last thing today. You made it. I'm going to ask you to take your right leg up at a diagonal. Okay. Come on. Yes. And now we are going to trust the machine and trust me. We're going to take the left leg up at a diagonal. Oh, no way. And now we're going to move the carriage from there. So your body should be in a diagonal line. Come on, CJ. I can't because I'm a joke. Yeah, no, I'm in the same boat. This doesn't feel like flying. Okay. Take this one up. Oh, my <laughs> I was hurting, and Amy was pushing me, she was prodding me, and she racked my junk. It's getting squished. That's and it's definitely it not just stretching. Like, no. it's a lot of feeling weird spots hit. That was the best core workout I've ever had, I would say. I would, I would yeah, agree with that. Definitely. It was all cool. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, he stopped um, like half the time. Yeah. Like challenge you to come to Wunderbar to experience the pain and the fun that we have here. Really challenging your body from head to toe, finding muscles you didn't even know you had. <laughs>